my interests are in developing and applying new algorithms for the analysis of uh, complex data. And in the healthcare or life sciences setting, we are intrigued by the analysis of uh, high throughput data sets in biology, which for example include molecular profiling of tumors, and from those trying to understand how we can diagnose the disease better and how we can also potentially treat the disease like cancer better. We work with IBM for about 10 years now and uh, I feel that this, this uh, collaboration is mutually beneficial for multiple reasons. One is that we benefit from the new technology that, for example, is not yet available uh, in general and we have early access which allows us to do better things faster or easier. We also get the support in training uh, our personnel to be able to use this technology more effectively. Many problems in biology now turn into really computational problems where we have a massive amount of data that needs to be analyzed and for those we need larger storage and more processing units to be able to analyze this complex data. That brings us to using basically powerful computation that IBM makes both on the software and hardware side. The biological data is getting so complex that clearly one single lab cannot deal with the analysis of it. Part of the goal that we are trying to do in our lab in Toronto is to integrate many types of data in order to understand one specific cancer. And through this integrative analysis, we gain a lot better insight, kind of systems biology insight into the disease. And that also basically brings uh, people with diverse expertise into the same table from engineers, mathematicians, clinicians, pathologists, biologists in order to basically solve this complex problem. And so it's the, the, the diversity of the people that are close by available that makes the uh, research in kind of downtown Toronto very exciting. Toronto is becoming quite the significant hub in terms of the life sciences research for multiple reasons. The downtown core, there are many teaching hospitals, uh, University Health Network with the Toronto General and Ontario Cancer Institute being one of them, but then obviously Mount Sinai Hospital, Hospital for Sick Children, and also the University of Toronto provide a vibrant environment for the research. Truly now it's North American kind of hub similarly as Boston was a couple of years back in terms of this high throughput biology and really cutting edge uh, biological research.